Hi folks, at the fishing pond today. Arrived a bit late today, around midday, because we had something to do in the morning. Uh, weather's quite nice, sunshine, but stronger winds. Uh, basically, I want to display my latest homemade lures, which are four differently sized Jim Pfeffer banana versions and a couple of deep divers. Give you some close shots of these so that you can have a close look and later give them a swim in front of the camera. Okay. Okay, let's start out with the uh, versions of the old Jim Pfeffer banana lure which was uh, produced uh, for decades in uh, Florida, USA. Actually, here's the biggest version of teak wood. Uh, when I first tried it, I found out it swam lopsided, so I had to embed uh, weights off-centered right here and there. Uh, during my water bucket test, it swam upright that way. I hope it's going to perform. Here's the second largest version. Um, weight sits right here behind the first belly hook hanger of abachi wood, still smaller version, same thing, weight sits here behind the first hook hanger, and uh, the smallest version, also of abachi wood, but here the weight sits in front of the hook hanger. Um, maybe you can see it, the weight is here, yeah, um, I've made a sketch of this one, this lure uh, with the help of a uh, Tackle Underground member Little River. He, he has an original lure so it's a kind of joint venture on the Tackle Underground lure making side. And um, so I'm going to give these lures a swim. See, you can watch the different sizes. All uh, hand painted with a hand brush and acrylic paints. Uh, sealed with propionate and uh, got three coats of epoxy for protection. Alright, gonna show you now the other lures before I swim them finally. Alright. Okay, here we've got a kind of banana lure with a pikey lip. Um, has grommets just for the uh, underneath the uh, hook eyes just for kind of vintage look also didn't use uh, split rings for that reason I have not swum this lure in the bathtub before just uh, tested it uh, trimmed it in the water bucket put some lead in here yeah has a uh, mottled hand painted color coat all right, here's actually a lure. I've seen this one on eBay, so that gave me the input. It's very simply turned down on a lath from broomstick with a pinned lip, self-centering line tie, has a uh, belly weight somewhere in the rear for improved casting and to level it. And uh, finally, here's a uh, P and kid version of pine wood, quite large lure with a screw on aluminium lip and self-centering line tie. Typical P and kid configuration with the screw on lip uh, after the lure making book by Hans Nordin. Uh, made of pine wood this one. Also uh, hand painted with acrylic paints. Okay. Okay, finally the last three lures, which are deep divers. This one is made after some pictures of uh, Australian lures that I found on the internet. A uh, Knowles lure. Has a aluminium sheet lip, pinned of course. Actually these were old machine tags. It's a special alloy of aluminium, very rigid. 
uh, you sh one cannot use a one millimeter aluminum sheet, the ordinary t start type you get in a model shop or so, because that one is too soft and subject to warping. This one is very rigid and will hold up. Also with the self-centering line tie, the lure is painted on a sideways swimmer way, has some uh, lead ballast embedded in its rear. Here's a ordinary lure deep diver uh, through wire this one actually the entire uh, belly slot where the uh, wire harness is uh, glued in is filled up with sheet metal uh, lead sheet excuse me lead sheet the entire slot has been filled up with lead sheet and finally another Australian style lure I found on the internet uh, named the turtle uh, the lips are not after made after the original it's just my own design these lips are oops also has a weight embedded in in its rear to counterbalance the heavy metal lip also is this special alloy one millimeter aluminium sheet uh, all lures are made of Apache wood sealed with propionate and paint hand painted with uh, acrylic paints right now I'm going to give them a swim hopefully they would work because I haven't tried them all right okay let's start out with the uh, bigger version of the pfeffer banana Yeah, swims nice. It's a bit heavy. Now it's fouled up. Okay. Not the most perfect spot for testing here. Oh yeah, has the hunting action. Typical hunting action. Yeah, I'm happy. I had expected issues with this one. Dives a bit deep because uh, the teak wood is not that buoyant. Yeah, requires toe eye, eye adjustment. And now it hangs inside the branch. Okay, I'll stop this now. Okay, picked it out of that branch. Yeah, has the typical hunting action. I'm satisfied. So, let us try the smaller, next smaller version of the, uh, of the pfeffer banana. That's Murphy's Law again. Leaves are right where I'm filming. Yeah. Also requires toe eye tuning. But I suppose it's okay. And jerk it as well. Yeah, nice. Ah, uh, if my memory serves me right, 
my own versions do perform quite do perform quite similar to the one on Little Rivers video. So I'm pretty much satisfied. Yeah. Okay. Next smallest version of the Fessa banana. Here's the one. Cast a bit too much to the side. Yeah, nice swimming action. Very nice. This one seems to work best so far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hunting action and little wiggle. That's just how it's supposed to be. I'm very happy. Finally my pfeffers turned out fine. And now the smallest version. I guess it won't perform with the heavy tech I'm using. It's uh, designed for trout. So I'm going to fish it on much lighter tackle. Yeah, also works nice. Small wiggle and slightly a hunting action. I hope you could see this on video. Oh yeah. Nice. 100% satisfied with my pfeffer versions. Okay, let's take a break. Okay, now we've got this uh, banana lure. Home design. I haven't swum this, not even in the bathtub before. Oh yeah, nice. Nice action. Could use this one as a wake bait, I suppose. I've designed it for shallow waters anyway. Yeah, dives a foot deep maybe, if at all. Nice action this one has. Doesn't seem to even require toe eye tuning. Yeah. Lovely action. Lovely action this one has. Yeah, I'm relieved. I'm relieved since I wasn't sure whether this one would perform. Okay. The PNK it loaded with uh, six or seven lead balls in its belly. Oh yeah, nice wobble. Nice wobble. Six or seven lead balls, seven millimeters it has in its body, in its belly. Uh, therefore it has a bit of a moderate wiggle. But that's just the real McCoy for autumn pike fall season piking when a bit more of a moderate action is in order yeah nice action didn't expect something else from the PNK anyway because this design most likely works well time after time okay here's this uh, eBay lure You never saw such an axing action on the lure before. Wow! You never saw such an axing action. 
great. I hope you can see it because of the ripples on the surface. This is an axing action. Wow. Would be great for summer hiking, I suppose. Might blow out if you retrieve it too fast. But looks okay. Yeah, if you retrieve it too fast, it tends to blow out. But I, I'm okay with it. Could think on the lip a bit. Oh, nice, nice. I like that one for summer hiking. Runs a bit too lively now for the get increasingly colder water. Okay, let's take a break. Okay, proceeding with the Aussie style deep diver, the uh, turtle. Right now the leader is tangled again. So, well, uh, it can cast now. Just seeing the wind has turned. I've got more ripples on the surface, that's not good. Yeah. Works fine. Typical strong wobble of a curved body lure. Excuse me. Okay, back again with the uh, Australian style deep diver. I hope you can see this on video because it digs down steeply. The self-centering line tie seems to work well. Yeah, no complaints about this one. No complaints. Now the next Australian style lure. Made after... The body shape made after pictures of a uh, Knowles lure. This one would not dive that deep, I suppose, because the lip is rather small and pointed. Yeah, nice action as well. Self-centering line tie seems to work as well. Yeah, looks like it could get to haunt a bit as well if you speed it up. And now the ripples have died down, maybe you can see better now. Yeah, nice action of this, nice. Okay, now the last lure is the... Uh, yellow orange one with the screw wire harness yeah this one digs down very steep I wonder if you could see something plenty of resistance in the rocks it plenty throb and I guess it would hunt as well It runs too deep to be visible on video, I suppose. But really has a nice wiggle as well, very strong. Okay, hope you could see something that the ripples on the water did not disturb too much. Okay, thanks. Okay, people, you see me very happy. 
all of these lures are working to my full satisfaction even the ones I was doubting uh, about yeah probably the feta bananas especially the uh, big one here turned out a bit too heavy but actually I do not mind to have my lures run a tad deeper um, also very happy about this uh, home design vintage style banana lure probably if I cast it out I could use it as a wake bait or would just dive maybe a couple of inches be, uh, below the surface and you've seen I hope you've seen the action would wake up dead pike I suppose this one PNK I was very sure that it would work because they most likely do I've made quite a few of these before okay also pretty much happy with this uh, lure that I've seen on eBay very simple uh, simply made lure just the pinned lip self-centering line tie turned from a broomstick well what more to say very happy with my lure test very happy with these lures some of them I'm still going to use in this year's season some some will wait for next year's season especially the smallest uh, of the bananas because that one's suitable for trout only need to be fished with uh, light tackle that I will not carry along anymore now in autumn because I will be chasing after a pike all right that was my lure test for today and thanks a lot for watching goodbye <laughs>